All right, hello, hello out there. I'm gonna start painting here in just a second. I wanted to make sure everything was functioning and running and all that good stuff. Good afternoon to you. I'm gonna be doing an underpainting today. Uh, it's gonna be pretty neat. Uh, at least I hope so. I tried to do this before. I'm sorry for starting late, but I had some technical problems. Let's see if that works. Theoretically, it should have worked. We'll see. I'm hoping so. And let's look and see what we got up here. That looks like the right thing. All right. Well, good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to do an underpainting today. I don't know if this is going to be able to be seen very well, but I uh, shot a picture of a nice birdhouse here, and I also shot a picture of a little birdie. And I'm putting him in right there. I photoshopped him in. But the lighting was similar and it looks pretty authentic. So um, I'm going to do an underpainting today. I'm going to start doing that with my uh, live painting. I'm going to start with a, um, an underpainting on Tuesdays. Let that dry. And then we're going to finish it up in oils on Fridays. Uh, Tuesdays will probably be a little shorter. The underpainting generally takes a little bit less. But, uh, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, <laughs> this is a kind of a new thing for me to try to do live. So depending on the technical glitches and whatnot. So I'm going to be using uh, acrylic, acrylic paint today, just a white. Um, doesn't matter what kind you use. I have some in a tube from Windsor Newton. Um, I also have a, a jar of water to uh, loosen everything up a little bit. And I'm also going to grab my spray bottle. And I'm going to spray some water. I'm going to use my spray bottle. It's just filled with water, just a regular spray bottle filled with water. And uh, I'm going to give it a little light misting here. Just a little bit of light misting just to kind of prep the canvas a little bit. Now, um, when I take this and then pull it out of the tube, I'm going to shoot some straight out. And I'm also going to take one side of it and I'm going to kind of feather it off with some uh, water. To kind of have a, a, a washed out area of white, a kind of a middle ground, and then the, just the deep color so that I can get different values as I go. Now I did some pre-sketching, uh, pre just a couple of dots with this, uh, this pencil here. This is actually uh, something I use uh, when I'm doing caricatures. It is, a, uh, it is basically a china marker, but it's in a little mechanical pencil kind of holder. And so I'm going to draw in uh, this drawing here. I'm going to take a look at it over here. And I already had, some, like I said, some key shots. So, uh, and the reason I put the water down is just to kind of keep this from, if I, if I mess up, I can kind of rub it off a little bit. Um, but this is, uh, uh, I can wipe it out without too much trouble. So right around here, we've got a, that's where the edge of that is. I don't know if you can see that very well. And then this peak kind of comes, slips down pretty good back in here. And then there's like a fern back here that's uh, coming along back in here. And he droops down and does his thing over here. Now, um, I could make another, give him a little friend here, and just to kind of give it a little something more of interest right there. There's going to be a stem kind of coming down right in the middle, so I'll give some indication to the, where the stem might be. Um, also, I'm going to bring this down. I've got another point down here. And I didn't measure any of this, all right? This is all just kind of a quick freehand again. I'm not trying to be too fancy. And then this is the inside here, which cuts right to this edge of the birdhouse there. And that goes like that. And then we've got uh, this guy coming down pretty low. I noticed this side dropped a little lower. I'm just going to slant back a little bit like that, like that. There we go. I think you can see it. Then um, we're going to put the little hole. We're going to indicate where the hole is right about there. And then this is going to be the little perch thing. It's going to come out. It's going to have a little knob on the end. It's going to come over here. And it's also going to kind of go around on that end. And then we got the back here of the, of the, the birdhouse. And then there's some shapes of some things here. There's a little deep with a little edge on it here. So I'm trying to get that one goes down to a point and then comes back. This one kind of goes down a little more fat. So we got that. There's the edge. 
And this is a kind of palm tree. Um, it has lots of little things that stick off of it, particularly here. But it, in, the, in the original picture, this is a little bit cut off. You can see where it was chopped off. So I'm trying to give it a little bit more of a, of a, of a flavor here. That one's in front of that one. This one kind of cuts off. You can go up under here. And then uh, it kind of comes down here. Then once again, we have the side of a fern down here. And another one's kind of shooting over there. All right. Something a little bit there. And we got some white fern stuff going on here. That's kind of dangling over a little bit. And then I think I've got this bird a little bit too far there. But anyway, we're going to try to do the bird. And I'm not going to do them real huge. I just want them to have a little, little spot down here. He's kind of fat. So I'm going to make a little fat bird here. He's got a little tail popping off over here. And uh, little things. And little wings going to be coming down here. Like that. His eye is going to be probably right about there. And there he is. Pretty cute little bird there. And then we'll, we'll do that once again. There's some other ferns kind of coming in. And in this case, I'm going to kind of take some liberties with, with how the ferns are, are doing their thing. Just kind of coming down like that. And just being kind of loose. Um, I might have another little piece of a fern coming up over here, peeking up in the back of this, this branch right here, just to give it some interest. And then back in here, we have all kinds of stuff happening. I'm just kind of give some indications that there's another, there's a bush over here that I got to keep paying attention to that's a little bit more in the foreground. And there's kind of a lighter area up top, a lighter area up top, and then a little darker underneath. So I'm just going to kind of just give an indication of that. So that's kind of our sketch. We've got that, you know, that's enough. I don't really need to do too much more than that. Hope everybody can see that all right. It looks pretty good on the screen over here. Okay, now I'm going to go, and once again, I'm going to just give, a, this time I'm going to give a pretty decent misting here. I'm going to mist it down pretty good. Just because I want to get a pretty good, whoops, too much mist on the picture. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to try to give it a, a little bit of color there. Unbelievable, that misting kind of made this warp a little bit. But that's okay, we'll fold it up at the bottom, we'll make sure she don't fall again. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go, like I said, straight to the white. I'm gonna take my white paint out of the tube. And I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna use two kinds of brushes today. One is a filbert, which is kind of like a flat. Here's a flat brush, here's a flat brush, and here's a filbert. See the flat, you know, obviously pretty flat. Let me get pretty close to the lens there. It's flat. And you can see if you turn it to the side, it's going to have more of a chisel edge, especially when you squeeze that right there. You're going to be able to see that chisel right there. And then this is a filbert, just kind of like a flat. It's a little bit flat and a little chiseled, chiseled at the edge. But this is cut in a round shape rather than a square shape. So filbert, flat. All right. Now, I'm going to take the filbert first because I'm going to be going back into this background area right in here because that's the furthest thing back, all this back here, all the way down behind that, all behind, it's all back here, this whole side really, all back here. Now, what I'm going to do is you can see it's kind of fuzzy and out of focus. There's some trunks back here, some sky. So I'm going to use a filbert to cut everything in because everything, when, they, when things blur out like that, they tend to get rounder. And so I'm going to use the filbert because it's got more of a round edge on it. And that's going to give me uh, kind of what I want. And I'm going to start once again uh, with the sky. I'm going to get some water on here. Get my brush good and wet. All right. I'm going to grab some white. I'm going to try to feel out how it feels to my brush when I drag it across. And I'll kind of get a feeling for how much paint I've got on there fairly early. Okay, so we've got some highlight right up above this leaf. So I'm just going to kind of start working this in. And that's a little, that's not, it's a little weak, a little weak. So I'm going to come in and bring a little bit more color to it. And it's wet, that back there now. And I want it to be wet. So I'm going to kind of come in there, just get some general shapes. There's some nice whites coming through where we've got some sky coming through. So I'm going to just make some indications of some sky coming through here and there. Doesn't have to be everywhere. Just like that. Nothing much to it. Now I'm going to kind of thin that paint out with a little bit more water. 
and I'm gonna come in here and I'm, there's some dark areas in here that I want to keep but right over here you got some light bushes so once again I'm just gonna kind of tap around with that round edge and oh it's a little little thin there a little thin that's okay though I'll just work it up it's a little thin so it's running a little bit more than I'd like it to uh, easy way to stop that of course would be to flip it upside down for a second and then you can kind of do that and you can also kind of grab a, a napkin or something which would be warranted in this case to kind of keep it from running a little bit little bit too frisky there so let's thin that out this time when I run it through that thin paint I'm going to give it a dab on the on the uh, paper towel see now I can kind of come in here and just get some other some other shapes of, of leaves and stuff on the edge here so I'm going to kind of give an indication that there's some leaf shapes along this edge just right here just a little bit and then right maybe right here I can put another leaf shape in the negative you see what I'm saying I'm painting the negative so I'm painting around that leaf I'm going to come over here, I'm going to toss in a, there's got to be some dark areas here and there, so I'll let that be light right there, and then I'll give it a little gap, and then I'll put a little, another little light area in there. I'm starting to get thin again, so let me thicken up that paint a little bit, dry off the brush, and just kind of come in there, but I don't mind it running a little bit, because it's kind of it's kind of working to the way I want it, it's kind of blurring it out, so I don't mind. Now there's a few trunks and stuff in here, so I'm just going to pull some indications of a trunk or two, like that, back here, there's Probably some one or two things coming up this way, like that. And once again, kind of running, but that's okay because I want it kind of thin back there. Once again, keeping in mind that I want this area dark right here. So I'm gonna come in here, let me squeeze some of that water out of the brush again. And then I'm gonna, there we go. Now we're starting to get to where I'm gonna get those little, little points on there. That's all right. And just trying to feel out some areas, not going too crazy. And it starts getting a little darker down here, so I'm going to kind of let that work its thing. And down here it's darker. So I'm going to leave some darks here, maybe give an indication of maybe a, a closer branch or something there. And start leaving some dark areas in there. And I'll probably go back over this again just to get the values, you know, up a little bit. Uh, especially since I had a little bit of dripping problem. Should have. Uh, I'm going to tend it to my brush a little bit better, but it is live and I got a lot of things on my mind, so, you know, excuses, excuses, I guess. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go in here once again, get some of that thin paint, squeeze out part of the brush so it's not so, there we go, that's more the way I want it to go on right there, where I've got a little bit more control, don't have that run going on, now I can kind of get a feel of the bushes a little bit around and back here and they're gonna, just going to bring them right on there we go that's what I want to see and let's bring some edges some top edges to some of this there we go now you can kind of see a little things happening a little bit there little bushes popping things starting to pop a little bit and this is still looking pretty runny but now I'm starting to get a little bit of a, a little bit of a control a little bit more over it not, not great that's going to help a little bit. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to dab off all those little points because I'm tired of fighting that one. There we go. Now I'm going to go back again with some thicker white again. And go back and try to indicate again in here as this is starting to dry a little bit. I'm going to try to indicate that there's some light coming through here. It's still a little wet. That's all right. I go ahead and work with it, it well, you know, how it is. I try to get there in the right, at the right time, the right moment. It doesn't always work. Right there little pops in there, and a pop or two in there, or something else has happened. There we go. Once again, a couple of trunks, that stuff kind of washed out, washed itself out, so I'm going to do it again. There we go. Just to have an indication that there's something going on there. There we go. And I'm going to leave in that dark area right here a little bit again. Kind of leave most of that dark, because I know I'm going to put something in there. And I'm going to cover up the bottom of these right here a little bit. And now, now we're looking pretty good. I'll come back in one time at, here at the end and hit that white where it's a little bit more, uh, I guess, believable. Now, let's go over in here, and I'm gonna, we're still working our way forward, working our way forward. So the next thing I do, I guess, these 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 are pretty dark right here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit fairly thin, and I'm gonna stroke back from each of these little tips a little bit like this, try to get a uh, feel for the edge, see how that looks like the edge of the, leaf a little bit and I'll do the same here a little bit a little to a lesser degree and then you'll see the edge of the serration of the leaf kind of shape up a little bit there 
I think you can kind of see that a little bit. Now this is kind of a, a wood, it's a little darker along, it's highlighted along the, in the middle, a little darker on this edge, way darker on that edge. So I'm just going to kind of give that, I'm going to give it some indication, just real lightly that it's got some something else going on there. And let's do it one time, a little bit, a little bit more of this light here, and just like that. That's cool, then I'll come on the top of this one, do the same thing, I'll leave it kind of darker here, or it separates right there. Same thing here, it's kind of a, it is a palm, so it's not really totally like a wood grain, but it is wood, so I'll give it some kind of indication of something. And I'm trying to keep my values, you know, just a little bit at a time, build them up, like you would with a watercolor or something like this, this is what we're doing right now, we're basically doing more or less watercolor, um, using acrylics, of course, but I'm trying to, you know, it's a pretty bright area here, so I'm going to give it, and once again, I'm going to go with strokes that I feel, give it kind of that woodsy feel, and then sometimes I'll go up, and just kind of work around like to there, then we're going to come over here. Now it's fairly dark in here, so I'm going to watch that, and just give it some indications of something going on back here, rather than being pure dark back in here, okay? Right along that edge, not too ridiculous, like that, okay? Now I'm going to hit, while I'm up here, I'm going to go ahead and hit these, these branches on this, uh, I mean the leaves on this, uh, fern that's hanging down here. Now remember the fern's got a stem in the middle, so I'm going to pull it like this and pull it in and it's going to get darker towards the middle. I'm going to get a little cleaner edge on that. Let's try that again. Once again with the filbert and I'm kind of coming around and I'm getting some nice edges here. Maybe not the perfect, you know, thing, but then I can kind of give an indication of a middle there. I can pull those into it a little bit, like that. Blend into that edge. And there you go. Very nice. And I said I wanted to throw you throw in another one over here that just had a little. So once again, actually I should be pulling it this way. It probably be a little better. Either way. You can stop a little short where you get a stem in the middle. So you can kind of see now we're, we're getting a, a shape there. Now, on top of the birdhouse here, the peak's going to be pretty bright, so I'm going to grab a little bit more stronger light here. And actually now, I'm sorry, oop, mistake out. Now I'm switching to my flex. I'm doing some hard edges. So sorry for the uh, getting ahead of myself there. Alright, now, Grab that. That way we get a nice, strong, clean edge. Now, these kind of go this direction, so I'm kind of like that a little bit. Back. And I'm not going to go too crazy with it. Just kind of go with the shape it is. Kind of pull it there. Right there, pull a hard one. There we go. grain in there, here and there. Try not to kill the fern. Or a little tip there. There we go. Now it's a little darker on this edge right here, but there's like some wood shapes and grains and things like that coming in. So I can do that to try to make like a little wood grain shape. And kind of fill it to the edges a little bit so it makes sense. Um, this part right here, maybe you can kind of fold over where that is. This is right here, so I'm going to come over a little bit. Like that. Okay, this edge, not much going on there. I'm just going to kind of just barely indicate that there's anything going on there. Now, we're going to go over to this part, and we're going to hit us not all the way down, but I'm going to come down part of it, some more of it, and then like that. So rather than taking a perfectly straight line, and then over on this side, I'm going to do that. I'm going to kind of fill it in. Does some things here. I don't know quite what, but, you know, there's a little things that's got going on here. So again, I'm just going to try to indicate that it's a, it's got a wood pattern here. Like Falls off a little bit over there. Now, once again, I'm going to come back up here to the very tippy top and just hit that white again one more time. Just 
to make the light fall off here a little bit. Come off the top. Same thing on this 350 top here. It's like a little harder white right there, just a little bit. Now there's going to be some wood grain coming up from the bottom here on this. So I'm going to pull from the bottom. Really good strokes. Trying to maybe change the direction of my brush a little bit. Now you can kind of see the wood a little bit. I could do that same thing. Back here again a little bit. Now we're starting to see some wood shape to this thing here a little bit. Now, I'm going to go, let's see, remembering that this is dark and there's actually a shadow that comes down right here. So to remember that shadow, I'm just going to come right there like that and I'm going to cut around it to begin with. There we go. And that's where that shadow is going to be. Now I'm just going to kind of come across and just randomly. I can cut through there because the shadow would go right there. It's not going to stop that grain from going across. And then there's going to be an area where the shadow cuts across right here. So I want to stop or start all these edges right here. A little bit. A little bit like that. Like that. And there's kind of a highlight area that comes across here. I see it in a couple spots. There we go. And then you got you got that wood grain coming through, so I'd, I'd pull it all the way across on some of it, you know, just to kind of continue it into the darkness there. That's good. I'm okay with that. Nice. Now come on with a little bit more color here, a little bit more. There's a little edge right here that I'd like to get right, right there. That's pretty good. Just kind of grab a couple lighter colors and come in here because I see some pretty good highlights right in here. And remember, we're going straight across with that wood grain. Stopping at that shadow right there, right there. Right up over the top. I'm gonna cut it over the hole just a little bit, just to make it a little bit more interesting. It's not really doing that, but I'm gonna cut right through this hole there as best I can and pull back. And I don't mind if somebody gets a little darker like that. It's fine. There we go. Now what I'm trying to do is just kind of come in here and I'm just gonna kind of feather it across and back and forth. Just till I can get an indication that I, about the lighting I want on it. Using the shadow here a little bit, and there's a. This is going to come down right there. Actually, it's right. It's right. It's right here. That shadow's coming all the way down, all the way down to here. Okay. Let me just come across. Still remember where that shadow is a little bit there, and then once again, that's going to going to have that shadow right there on that bottom piece there. There we go. And this here is pretty dark underneath, so I'm just going to kind of leave that like that. So we've got more or less a pretty good start there to the to the uh, the bird uh, birdhouse. And I forget my name, my words here. All right, and I'm going to kind of pull a little bit more of that over. And there's like a piece right there that I'm going to kind of so even like that. Got some lumps on the edges, but that's alright. I'll just work with it. I'll work within what I have. Remember, shadow right there. Sure that kill it totally. There we go. And do that. I'll run some lines across again just to kind of indicate. Now there's a couple of guys that are going up and down right here. And this guy is. There we go. That's looking pretty good. We're going to come and hit all this stuff one more time as the things dry as we work our way to the bottom. Now, there, I don't want this as bright as it is in the picture, so I'm going to make sure I uh, don't hit it too hard. So I'm going to just come over here and I'm going to give it some shape like it's a, you know, this is pretty bright, but it's kind of bright, but that's dark right there. So I'm going to get that bright edge right here a little bit. There it is. And there, and then this is kind of got a brighter edge a little bit. Like that, and it's going to work that like that. You know, it's going to work some indications of texture and stuff like that, so it looks a little better. Now, once again, I can take my 
filbert, go back to my filbert real quick because I want to throw in a couple more of these uh, burn things here. Boy, is that a mess. That is one heck of a mess you got on that brush there, Paul. How are you supposed to be teaching people with that kind of mess on there? I don't even know. Teaching them poorly, that's how. All right, we're going to teach it right. Oh, no, I'm going to get that right. All right, now. Thin. A little thin. Consistency is always a thing, you know, you got to work with it. There we go. Got a little something, I'm going to bring another leaf down here. Didn't quite do it just the way I wanted it, but that's all right. Once again, I'm going to wait. Well, I'll actually wait on that. I wanted to do it. I really intended to do it. Okay, this time I'm going to go pretty thin. And once again, squeeze, I'm gonna squeeze that uh, excess water out of the brush. And there's some, there's some, uh, there's a little bit of a light coming right through here, and I'm going to work from that, and I'm going to work down to where it disappears, and work because it works off itself off the brush. You see, and that's going to indicate some things going on. And then over here, there's a little bit of light coming from underneath the birdhouse. It's got some of the shape of that tree in here, so I'm going to kind of give that shape, kind of bring it down here. And I don't care about the fern that's in front; it's it's in front, so I will cut it in front. There we go. And now there's some more. The highlight is coming really from up in here. So there's a, some more light coming from up in here. So I'm going to kind of hit more light right up in there and maybe some right there and, and let it break down and peel off. Once again, there's some more light here. Kind of kick it in there. And there you are. All right. Now, once again, going with the filbert. And I'm going to go pretty good this is a pretty good uh, and I'm going to curve them away from the bird a little bit just because and I'm going to have this end come down that way and go like that and that's going to be our fern coming in big fern coming in right there and then I'm going to have another one that's peeling this way and once again I'm just going to do what you don't want to do too many strokes you want to try to do this in one shot now and remember I'm trying to get in where where that stem would be, that's okay. Nice there. I can come in here, and work all this towards the stem, work all that towards the stem, just kind of peel it over the top there. Oops, sorry. It is an underpainting, so I'm not gonna worry about it. And it's perfect. It is all for indications of what I'm doing. Go here, now let's see. There's a branch coming across this way once again the light is mostly working here and then it peels off a little bit here so I'm going to keep 